the live stream. I am Tamara Krinsky, your West Coast host for Marvel Live. We are brought to you by Marvel's Future Fight from our friends at NetMarvel. And I'm Lorraine Singh, host writer of Marvel's The Watcher, and we're joined by Connor Wilde. Hello! Of ah! NTV Scream. Ah! Yeah, we have to scream because he's of on. Course. to practice. I have to. So good to be here. Thank do you, you. Do you have a lot of people screaming a lot at you then? Yes, a lot of them scream and we're like looking around and they're like, that was good, right? <laughs> and we're like, yes, that was yeah, fantastic. Perfect. Well done. Perfect. So what is it like entering into the horror world? It's crazy because I actually was not a horror fan before this project. I can't stand scary movies. <laughs> uh, but once I got into this project, it was like, oh my gosh, it's so nuancy and smart and thriller-like. And that's what I like. So I've been having a blast. And did you go back and watch the original films or did you stay away? Some people like to watch, some people don't. Right. We actually so as a cast, we went and we watched them all. Oh, um, and so we got to like bond that way. And then uh, after that, we kind of just like, hey, great, we got it. And then let's just take it our own way and have yeah. a blast with it. So it was like a perfect balance. And you guys had a panel here yesterday, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you talked about. Yeah, well, uh, we, we released a trailer. Uh, cool. I think it should be up on YouTube. It's the Comic-Con mm -hmm. clip that we released. Um, and it shows a lot of our season. So you get a lot of glimpses into what's to come. Um, and it's just, you know, I know Bella Thorne will be back to join us later in the season. That's the big news we released. Nice. Um, and we're just excited to let these characters start to show you who they really are. Well, and something I, I've been peeking around at is that something that's cool is you kind of have that horror thing where each character has their own sort of different niche, we'll say. Right, stereotype. Yeah. 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 So you're like the jock. Yes, I am the jock captain of the basketball team. Mm -hmm. The coolest thing about the show, though, is even though we have a stereotype to start out with, mm -hmm. we have enough time to really stretch it out and kind of change those stereotypes right. and people yeah. to kind of shift and you know what I mean? But yes, I'm the jock. <laughs> Through and through. <laughs> yep. And apparently you have a fan base. Um, the Wilers, uh, Guillermo, um, Wilers, has, sent I love a, you guys. has sent a message from your fans, The Wilers. And um, also, Guillermo would like to know your favorite TV show of all time. Oh, Guillermo. Uh, I love Game of Thrones. That is my favorite of all time. I'm obsessed. It's really <laughs> scary. I'm obsessed. We were actually talking earlier about you guys like to fan cast yourselves. Yes. If you were going to fan cast yourself as Avengers, who would you all be? So, they keep telling me that I would be Steve Rogers. I don't know AKA why. AKA yeah, Captain why. America, <laughs> which is like a dream come true for me. <laughs> and then, you know, from the rest of the cast, we were thinking like Carlson, who plays Brooke, would be Wonder Woman. She's got like doll American blonde hair. Like, even though Wonder Woman is not blonde, still she has like the, the frame for it. Um, we, I mean, it goes on and on it and on. It goes on and on. Yes. And on. It's Love so it. fun. Nice. And this is your first time at Comic Con, right? This is my first time. It's so a blast. So, what are you, yeah, what's it like experiencing it for the first time, especially coming with a show? Yeah, well, it's so much fun because um, we got to walk around the room for the first time today, and it's crazy. So many people, so many costumes, <laughs> such commitment. Um, <laughs> but it's been so fun with the show, too, because we've got to see the, the backbone of it as well. You know, mm -hmm. it's been really cool to see all the press and all the people so excited to see the show. We have a question from DJ Franco. Um, how often do cast members do the thriller dance on set, and can you do it? Oh my God, that's a great question. Uh, we do it quite a bit, actually, more <laughs> than you would think, especially in like the scary sets that we've been on. And yes, I can absolutely do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, do you have to like break the tension a lot because it's scary on set? Absolutely. It is so funny. It is a constant joke stream behind the scenes mm -hmm. because when you're out in Louisiana shooting at night and it's really scary you're like hey somebody make a joke quick it's really scary it's, it's really scary on do set you, do you guys like ever prank each other or try to scare each other we don't do that because it's scary it's enough scary. we don't, we don't want to like scar yeah. you for life but we do have a lot of fun though you know in other ways too so who's the biggest prank who's the biggest jokester on the set I, I love him to death uh Tom Madden who plays Jake who plays my best friend the other jock um <laughs> he is the biggest person he'll like switch our names on our trailers and stuff <laughs> so you walk into the trailer and you're like this is not my Tom you know it's, it's he's definitely the biggest jokester <laughs> uh so now there's gonna be somebody is gonna have to go. Yeah. That's what happens in Scream, you guys. That's horror. I mean, yeah. at least in the movies. Right. Is it gonna be hard seeing people go in the cast, or are they gonna kind of come back and forth, even though maybe they don't continue living? That's a great question. Um, it is horror, so all of us are on borrowed time. There's there's no Ooh. telling what's gonna happen. 
um, and we really like to really play with you as well. So we'll take you one way, think something's gonna happen, mm -hmm. and then it doesn't, or it does. You know, we have all these things. Right, and you so, kind of fake people out, like you don't think it's gonna happen, so we're gonna make it happen, but we know you think that's not gonna happen, so we're actually gonna make it happen. Exactly. That's too that many layers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna too get many so layers. crazy. Um, but no, it's gonna be so sad because we're such a tight cast, yeah. um, and we, we love each other so much. But that's the best thing about a TV show also is flashbacks happen and like we can still incorporate people into the mix further on. So it is, it's crazy. It's so fun. And when is the show on now? So it is on Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. 9 central um, on MTV. Uh, Wendy Willis says um, that she would think you would make an excellent Havoc. Say so that again? Havoc. An yes. excellent Havoc. Uh, Cyclops' younger brother, Havoc. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Thank I can you. totally see that. Havoc. And a person asks, can you still sleep at night? Because she knows that she would not be able to. He knows <laughs> he would not be able to. It's tough sometimes, you know? You turn off the light to go to sleep, and you're like, let me turn it back on for another half an hour and just decompress from the day, because it, it does get really scary. So, yeah, yeah definitely. It's tough to sleep now. <laughs> and how are you spending a lot of time in Louisiana then? Yeah. Yes, we're going back and forth constantly um, down in Louisiana and L.A. for a little bit. You know, it's it's all back and forth. It's it's really a great have travel you, time. When you're there, do you have any chance to explore at all, or are you mostly just in production? Uh, no, we've had time. We've been in New, to uh, New Orleans, which is such a fun yeah. city, so historical mm. and fun, and I mean, it's great. So we've had a little bit of time. It's a perfect balance between work and fun. You know. Any new food you've had a chance to experience? Oh, beignets. Do you beignets are the best. They're so like good. fried dough with powdered sugar thrown on top. Oh man. It's amazing. It's like amazing, yeah. Awesome. Well, tell people where they can find you online Absolutely. and out in the world. You got it, out in the world. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Connor Wild. That's C O N N O R W E I L. And on Instagram at the same username. Awesome. Connor thank Wild. you so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you, you guys. Ladies. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank Stay you. tuned. We're going to be wrapping up in a little bit with Goodnight Comic Con, tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So we will see you soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs>